Oh man, look at that. So I have a 14 pound Butterball Turkey and we're gonna be smoking it on the Masterbuilt 560 Digital Charcoal Smoker. It's the Gravity Series. We're gonna keep this video really quick, really short. I'm not even gonna do a whole lot of B-roll, stuff like that, because I just kinda of wanna get the information to you guys on what I'm gonna be doing this year for my turkey. Here's a couple things that we're gonna be doing. I'm not gonna spatchcock it, we're gonna smoke it as a whole empty turkey. I'm not gonna stuff it either. I want the smoke to go into the cavity and smoke it from the inside as well. As far as the binder and rub, we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna be using mustard as a binder, just regular store-bought yellow mustard. We're gonna be using granulated garlic, mustard powder, and we're even gonna add a little bit of truffle seasoning and zest to that to give it a little bit of a unique truffly flavor. The reason I'm choosing to use the Masterbelt Smoker is because it infuses a lot of smoke and it gives you that really rich smoke flavor. Turkey cooks relatively quick compared to a lot of other barbecues like briskets and stuff. So if we can get in as much smoke as possible in the short smoke that we have, that'll be better. I've done plenty of turkeys on the pellet grill as well and they come out amazing, but I want extra smoky this time. That's about it. Throughout the smoke process, I'm gonna be just dabbing it with some apple juice or water, something I'll let you guys know as I decide. <laughs> Anyways, that's it, let's get smoking. So for today's fuel, we're using Masterbuilt lump charcoal. It's all 100% hardwood charcoal. And then we have some of this Weber applewood wood chunks. We're just gonna be dumping them inside here. So basically what I like to do with the charcoal is I dump some charcoal in, then I sprinkle some wood chunks in, dump more charcoal, and then kind of alternate between wood chunks and charcoal. And then I'll take some of those wood chunks and I'll put them inside the ash pan. Once things start getting hot, as the charcoal ash and cinders fall from the charcoal or embers fall from the charcoal, it kind of smolders the wood that's inside the ash pan as well. Pretty good combo to get the maximum smoke flavor out of the Masterbuilt. These are also Masterbelt fire bricks. These things are really good fire starters. Work really well with this too. They're nice and flat. This is basically where you have to insert your fire starter for the charcoal. So just throw that in there. All right, we have a pretty good smoke going on right here. So now's a good time to kick it on. And we're using some granulated California garlic. Costco, big old tub of it. We have some mustard powder right here, ground mustard seed essentially. And this stuff is like my favorite. This is a Sabatino truffle zest. This stuff is amazing. And I'll leave a link to where you guys can get this stuff. It's not that expensive, but we actually put on everything like popcorn and basically anything that we want it to taste fancy. It's so good. I also have a little injector right here. And we are gonna be injecting it with essentially the same ingredients I have the same thing, all this stuff mixed inside here, except I added a little bit of salt as well and warm water. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put in the injection first because we don't want the injection to actually squirt out and take some of the rub off of it. So, injection first, right there. Next thing, we're covering it in mustard. Garlic now do a nice layer of the California granulated, granulated garlic. And nice and garlicky so that skin's flavorful. Under the arms, under the wings. Mustard powder. Now for my favorite, the truffle twist. This stuff is so good. Last ingredient that I didn't talk about, we're gonna use some cayenne pepper also. 
It's gonna really help with the color. Not gonna use too much. Some of it's gonna melt off too, but. All right, that should be good. Let's throw it in the smoker. So the turkey's 48 degrees right now. Just threw it on the smoker. We're gonna let it ride for one to two hours without doing anything. We're not gonna touch it. We're just gonna let the temp come up. We're just gonna let it sit there and smoke for a couple hours. That's gonna help every that's gonna help everything bind to the mustard. It's gonna help the mustard solidify. Eventually the, the mustard is gonna kind of burn or smoke off. And it's gonna leave like a really cool film on it too. So it's not very mustardy, even though I put a lot of mustard on it, a lot of that burns off. See you guys in two hours. I forgot to mention one thing. So the temperature is set to 275. I don't think I mentioned that in the video. So 275, all right. Okay, so it's been about two hours. We're sitting at 115 and 104.7. Looks like we don't have any more apple juice. So I made a little concoction. This is basically butter, water, and brown sugar. It's like a half a stick of butter, the rest water, and I'll do the brown sugar. So we're gonna start spritzing the turkey or dabbing the turkey with this. Let's take a look at the turkey first. We are starting to get some color and that's looking awesome. All right, we'll come back in a while. All right, it's been like four hours, let's see. Oh, look at this guy right here. That's looking amazing. It's been six hours exactly and we're sitting at 180 in the thigh. 170 in the breast and look at that color oh man that is epic looking and very very crispy skin too i'm gonna take this out we're gonna let it rest for about 45 minutes oh man look at that now look at that color that's pretty good nice crispy skin too so you get crispy skin, nice dark brown color. It smells amazing too. We're gonna let it rest for like 30 minutes or so, and then we'll cut into it. Let's see how this looks. First of all, the color is amazing on this. And of course, it's nighttime. Nice and well done, as a turkey should be. Now here's one of my favorite techniques for the turkey breast. What you do is you take the knife along the bone and you cut out the entire breast. Oh, it feels so tender. So you cut out the breast as one piece of meat, and then you slice against the grain, and it's perfect. This just smells amazing. Look at all that juiciness too. 